This is the king troop. A group of over 40 toque macaques that have lived among the ancient ruins for hundreds of years. They're the smallest macaque species in the world. But what they lack in size, they make up for with their unique personalities and fetching hairstyles. No two monkeys look the same. There's battle-scarred Grandad, age 35, soaking up retirement. Ten mothers with babies in tow. A handful of large adult males. And of course, the rowdy bunch of teenagers. Ravi is the eldest teenage male in the troop. He's six years old, sports one of the best hairstyles around, and enjoys a carefree life with the other adolescents. And his closest friend is Danu. Danu's only about a month younger than Ravi, and they've been best friends since they were babies. They've both made it through the vulnerable infant years, when up to a third of toque macaques die. And they've spent their whole lives living in this idyllic temple paradise. But now that they're almost adults, their days here are numbered. Whilst the females get to stay with their birth troop for life, males have to leave. Nature's way of preventing inbreeding. Ravi and Danu are feeling the push to leave home, especially around mealtimes. There's a strict dominance hierarchy within the group, and the teenage males are at the very bottom. They have to wait for everyone else to get their fill. Even Ravi's own mother, Jamusa, won't share with him. Jamusa is the alpha female of the troop, and she rules over the other females with an iron fist. Her torn ear is a legacy of a fight that she won while defending her crown. As the son of the queen, Ravi used to enjoy a privileged childhood. But now that he's nearly an adult male, those days of favoured status are long gone. 